I'm a noodle person. I can eat noodle pretty much every day. Cause You're the dumpling lady and you would prefer noodles? Yes, I, I love noodles. <laughs> secret you didn't know about the dumpling lady. Yes. <laughs> Hey, uh, my name is Chen, and uh, I run the food truck called The Dumpling Lady, and I am the Dumpling Lady. In terms of the, how the name come from, is when, when we first like start uh, going to the farmer's market in Noda, there are a lot of local vendors there. We don't really know their names, and everybody just trade food. So we were like, okay, let's get some fish from the fish guy, get some cheese from the cheese lady. So that's how I say, oh, why not name ourselves The Dumpling Lady? And it is like, I'm a lady, I make dumplings, so The Dumpling Lady makes perfect sense. There you go. Enjoy. So actually, all the noodle dish is are they, they're all from my hometown. Because my hometown is like really famous for like the spicy food. There is a, a very special ingredients that's that's like only local to my hometown, Sichuan, and uh, a lot of people know it as uh, the Sichuan peppercorn. You can only find it in Asian store or like specialty stores, but they are like all packaged and they're like really old. So I get my friends shipped it every now and then from China, from my hometown, because only in my hometown they grow that kind of, uh, uh, of peppercorn. Uh, in my sauce, you can find the whole one that's not grind up. And uh, I also use the powdered one in my noodles. It's kind of a little bit selfish for me to have the food truck. It's because I wanted to eat my hometown's food anytime I want. And it's like, I, I've been eating the type of food for 27 years. So it's kind of a little, a little bit difficult for me to change. I can release my feelings of the homesick on the on the food, you know, because I've been with them all the time. So I miss my home a lot. But since I'm around the, my my hometown food all the time, so yeah, it's not that strong. <laughs>